an interesting thing happened on date with an angel. We had to make a 15 foot wide articulate wings. And the wings had to look like they were comprised of real feathers. So we got a lot of white feathers of different sizes, but the basic, the, the, the main feathers, the flight feathers, there, there was no bird that anybody knew of or could think of that had flight feathers this long. So we had to make those and they had to look real. So I developed a quick way of vacuum forming the basic shape. Uh, Mike Hosh had sculpted a form which we made a real shallow hard mold of the, uh, with, with the basic uh, rib lines that a feather has and a little trough uh, thing for, to represent the quill. But these feathers had to be actually mounted onto the wing framework in such a way that they, that they had the, the correct behavior in the wind, as it were. So the quill had to be engineered to look and work just right. I took uh, sheets of quarter-inch Lexan and took them to the pedal shear and cut very long, thin, tapering strips of Lexan that tapered down to a very, very sharp, gradual point and basically potted them into that little trough in the center of each feather with some silicone. And then Ron Gress developed this elaborate, very delicate, highly nuanced coating uh, using, I think, some kind of flocking and also some pearl powder to give these vacuum-formed wings the right degree of iridescence, the right degree of translucency. And I thought we pulled it off really well. The thing that was funny about this project was that um, Laurel Stutzman, who had just finished seven or eight months of agonizing work on Howard the Duck, was brought in. And Mark Stetson told her when she came in the door, oh, you'll be working with feathers. And Laurel let out this screech. But like a trooper, she fell into it and did a beautiful job with all the little subordinate feathers that had to be dressed in to make these wings really look like 15-foot perfect bird's wings. Stuart Ziff helped with the armature and uh, the mechanisms of it. And uh, Mark Wilson ended up being the puppeteer. He was on a little trolley up above doing his puppeteering magic with, I think, monofilament from up above, and then she was flying along below him. So they had to synchronize the movement of the two uh, flying rigs you know, so that Mark could always stay with her and do her thing. I wasn't involved in that part of it, but Mark, I must say, did a beautiful job of making these wings come to life. But they were beautiful wings, i got to say. <laughs> <laughs>